Hello, I'm John Lewis with ACRO. I'm joined today by Michael Warner, Executive Director of the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine, or ARM. Welcome, Michael. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So what's ARM's specific policy agenda? Is there, is there regulations you're looking at, legislation you're looking at? Yeah, so really it's all of the above. Um, because regenerative medicine has demonstrated its uh, value and because we know that it has the potential to do so much more. By the way, one topic we didn't mention when we're talking about the, the uh, importance of this technology is that more and more companies are developing products in this field. So there's also an economic development engine from this technology, which is more and more companies being developed, hiring more and more people. So there's also a jobs creation um, component to this technology. We know that it has all of this potential in terms of jobs, in terms of healthcare, in terms of bending the healthcare cost curve. Unfortunately, while we've got many policies in the US that have been helpful to the researchers and the product developers in this space, what there is not is any kind of comprehensive and coordinated federal policy. So ARM's position is there needs to be a national strategy on regenerative medicine. Other countries have already adopted such a strategy, China, the UK, um, Japan, South Korea, even Canada, all have national strategies on regenerative medicine because they've recognized the power of this biology and the power of this technology. And that's what we think needs to happen in the U.S. and needs to happen right away. So we have the federal government in, investing in these technologies through, through different departments and different means, and ARM is saying, let's just get this coordinated. Not so much asking for more money, but... That's ex exactly right. So we know that there's, uh, you know, we're, we know about the fiscal situation that the, that the government is in. So um, ARM is not actually advocating for more money. What we are advocating for is a better and more efficient use of the money that we already spend. So really, we think the way we're going to launch a national strategy is two kind of building blocks. The first is a government-wide assessment of just exactly what money is being spent now. We know that the NIH spends over a billion dollars in regenerative medicine. We know that the Department of Defense spends hundreds of millions of dollars in this technology. We know that there are other federal agencies who are engaged in this technology in one way or another. But we don't really have a sense of whether that all fits together. Where are the gaps in research? What are the obstacles to commercialization that need to be filled, et cetera? So the first step here is to figure out the baseline, just exactly what are we doing to support research and product development in regenerative medicine. And then the second piece is once we have that baseline about what exactly is happening and what needs to happen and perhaps what no longer needs to happen because it's duplicative or now obsolete, then we want to get everybody in the room together, all the federal agencies who are involved, the private sector, uh, commercial product developers, patient advocates, clinical researchers from academia, and then let's figure out what our prior research priorities should be and our other priorities should be so that we can advance this field. So basically what we're talking about is an assessment of the federal strategy of the federal government activities now and then a national coordinated strategy going forward so we can make sure we accomplish uh, what we need to to make sure this technology meets its its potential. If I would want to find more information about ARM, where would I where would I find that? Well, the best place is to look at our website, which is www.alliancerm.org, and we've got um, lots of information there, not only about ARM, but about regenerative medicine, uh, updates on clinical trials, an annual report about investment investment in the field. So there have been a number of significant business deals that have happened over the last year or so, and we've cataloged all of those. So it's really a great opportunity to, to get a comprehensive view of, of what the field looks like. And for more information about ACRO, you can visit acrohealth.org and follow us on Twitter at acrohealth. <laughs>